The European Union made it very clear to her that she was, she, it's not a restaurant, it's not a menu. She cannot pick and choose which, uh, which plate or which decision she wants to keep or uh, rules she wants to keep. So. Hello, Jan Mark, and thank you for joining us. So let's jump straight in. Do you expect Donald Trump to maintain all of his campaign promises now that he's been sworn in as president? Oh, hi, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, you made a lot of promises, and that's the, the, the tricky question. Uh, of course, campaigning to uh, different parts of the, the US, he made a lot of promises, and now he has to live up to, uh, to, uh, to his word. Uh, so far, he's, he's done the easy part, which is the uh, enaction of uh, different measures he wanted to make that are pretty easy, immigration, um, on executive orders, on various different topics. But the, the, main, the main issues are going to be taxes, are going to be uh, repatriation of uh, monies from the, the U.S. companies that are abroad, uh, trying to maybe uh, lower a bit the uh, compliances and all the regulations we've had all over the last 10 years. So he's got a full plate and uh, he's going to face some, uh, some uh, pushback from the Democrats, although they don't have the majority in the House. But, uh, but still, he made very, uh, very big promises and uh, the, the U.S. really depends on that uh, to move forward. There's a lot of things to do and uh, we'll see how he tackles it. I mean, his, his manner is obviously uh, completely as uh, opposed to the, uh, the old establishment. So he's coming in from a different angle. He might, he's probably going to hurt a lot of people and a lot of politicians are not used to being talked uh, at like that or spoken uh, in such uh, harsh words. But uh, we have to give him a chance to, uh, to, do, uh, to do what he wants to do and what he promised to do. Uh, and then we can, we can judge him uh, afterwards or when, if the job is done or not. So moving away from Trump and going to the UK, uh, the Prime Minister Theresa May recently gave a speech where she said she wouldn't be hanging on to bits of EU membership. Uh, do you expect uh, to see a reaction from the ECB to this? I think, I think she had no choice. I mean, the uh, ECB or the, the, the European Union made it very clear to her that she was, she, it's not a restaurant, it's not a menu. She cannot pick and choose which, uh, which plate or which decision she wants to keep or uh, rules she wants to keep. So the uh, European Union made it clear to her that the negotiation is going to be tough, uh, that uh, she will most likely lose the uh, financial access to the European Union, which is a big piece for Britain, and it will hurt uh, the economy. You're already starting to feel the problems with uh, the inflation seeping into the economy because of the, the, the drop in the pound. And so May is, is uh, walking a tight rope, and uh, she will have a, a, a so far a strong uh, adversary as the European Union which uh, doesn't want to set any precedents and will not make uh, any conciliatory deals with, uh, with Britain. So it's going to be a long uh, process. Uh, right now we're just waiting for Parliament to approve whatever uh, package is thinking of uh, addressing and putting in front of the, the European Union but uh, it's going to be a tough fight and Europe uh, so far is not, is not willing to budge. So with uh, suggestions that the markets have probably been too optimistic following the result of the US election, where should we be investing in 2017? Uh, we have a, we've had a nice run since uh, Trump got elected, that's for sure. A lot of anticipation that uh, maybe Trump can change things, can, can make better regulation, better uh, uh, policies, um, as opposed to what was happening during Obama coming out of the uh, financial crisis in 2008. So the expectation was really high and he's coming from a business background. So there's hope that he can change things and make it better for everyone and kind of uh, uh, work down a little bit the problems of uh, globalizations around the world with jobs uh, being lost here and there. But overall, uh, trade is good. So. For now, as, we, as I said earlier, I think that his first steps that he's taken is kind of protectionist and it's kind of uh, difficult for diplomacy. He's putting himself in a tight spot. Uh, but if he can go on and do the, uh, the things that he wants to do for the economy, being the corporate tax, uh, repatriation of cash and regulation, we, we might have a chance. So I would say that the place to be would be uh, uh, equities. Uh, they've run up a lot, so and I'm thinking that we could have a, uh, a consolidation uh, for some months to digest the, digest the, the run up from, uh, from Trump. Then we'll see 
if he, he does make uh, any changes. So equities are, are looking good in uh, in the US and in Europe. Europe also is coming out also at, uh, from the crisis, uh, albeit at a lower pace, but still there's opportunities there. I think fixed income are pretty dangerous because the policies uh, in, uh, in the US are really uh, inflationary. Uh, they will lead to more inflation. Right now we only have the inflation from the commodities, but if the salaries get better, we'd, we'll get another wind of, uh, of inflation and that could hurt rates. At the same time, you have the Fed who is ready to raise rates also. So you have a situation where bonds uh, are, 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 have much risk in, in it. And uh, on currencies, I, I, would, I would say uh, probably be short the dollar for now because um, the run-up in the in the, in the election was too strong, and I think we have a period of uh, discussions for Trump to put in place his, his things, and will take some time, um, even if it's uh, the, the the infrastructure projects that he wants to put in place. Those are very long-term things, so might not get approved for another eight months, and then you have to start the projects. So that's a long-term view. So I'm thinking that you stay, you stick with equities uh, in the U.S. and in Europe. Um, if the dollar comes down, then you can go and look at emerging markets equities. Stay away from corporates, which are very not earning a yielding anything and the spreads are pretty dangerous with uh, with fixed income as well govies in the us and in europe and uh and then w wait it out a little bit because there's going to be hiccups i mean with uh, trump's um, mania of uh, tweeting left and right you're going to have volatility to us it's a great thing because we do uh, we do do uh, we do manage a lot of volatility and we know how to trade that but for other long-term investments they can you can be taken out of your position, so volatility will be will be will be there, and uh, we'll we'll have to wait and uh, and see uh, what uh, the uh, policies of uh, Mr. Trump uh, uh, really, uh, f uh, if if they come true or not. Jan Mark, thank, thank you. you very much. You. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for watching. And if you like this video and would like to see more, be sure to stay with us here at Dukaskopi TV. Ah!